this is Bahar and Biva and today I want to take you through our leg workout but before we get to it I want to introduce you to our newest athlete of Dragon Pharma please welcome Mahesh Kudura here what's up guys latest Dragon Pharma athlete and today we're gonna show you our leg workouts hey. So I'm gonna take you guys through how I like to start my workout sometimes. Uh, if I'm looking for a day when I want a crazy pump, I start my workouts with a leg extension and I do a very heavy set on leg extension. Actually two different types of workout on the leg extension. And then I proceed to do all my squats and other heavy lifts. It's a different feel. Same. <laughs> the first exercise we're gonna do today is leg extension. I always start with them just to warm up the knees and the muscles. So we're gonna do we're gonna do like two sets. Okay, so why I like to start with leg extension someday, even though I won't be able to squat as heavy after, it just gives you a different kind of pump. So I like to rush all the blood in, do four sets of leg extension, 10 to 15 reps, increasing weight each time. And then I like to do a drop set after I've done this leg extension. But I mean, there's many types of ways to do leg extension. Sometimes I do it a faster rep, sometimes I slow it down. So if I do a faster rep, I increase the weight and I really push it. Nothing less than 15 reps. So four sets, 10 to 15 reps. And then I do another four sets with varying slowness. When it comes to getting a pump, this is by far my favorite exercise because I feel like nothing gets the blood to the parts as much as this exercise. And don't be disheartened by the fact that you might not be able to squat as much after. That's just because we've pre-exhausted the muscles. And you'll notice that you'll start to get gains on another level. Let me, let me show you the different types of ways you can do leg extensions. I mean, there's so many variations to this, you'll be amazed. So you can start with a slower leg extension where you squeeze and slowly down. Sometimes I rep it like this, I do five slow, and then I rep out five fast, then I go five slow, and just change it up, you know? The best thing about working out is you can always change up your exercises. If you get too used to something, change it up. Otherwise, you'll reach a plateau. Now the next exercise is squats. I mean, uh, obviously there's a lot of technique involved, but never forget that every body is different. Every structure is different. It varies from person to person. So I have my own preferences. I'm sure Bahar does as well. So we're gonna take you through them. Okay, so I wanna give you a small tip, which I used for a few months now with my coach. So the thing is, uh, we change my leg workouts, the squats, and we do like one week heavy weights and second week is tighter dynamics. So all you do 
is you work in the middle of the movement so to keep your muscle in tension and you work for 30 seconds and then you have 30 seconds of rest but when you work you you squat really slow really slow so let me show you Bahar is using a bit of a closer leg stance. Yeah, I so, love it. Which I'm assuming is her preference. for 30 seconds and start all over again and you're gonna do it for sets one thing I'd like to point out as well guys is when it comes to doing your leg exercises you have to focus on your feet and uh, if you don't have flat shoes I'd advise not doing it in normal trainers so get rid of these things and I'd rather be barefoot than use uh, a shoe that doesn't fit your leg because we want to avoid injuries at all costs and how I like to do my squat is, uh, let me take you through. So I get under the bar, I make sure my arms are pointing upwards because I don't want to lean forward and pull the weight down with me. What I like to do is I like to lift up the bar. If you look at my leg stance, it's aligned with my shoulder length almost. I twist my feet up at a 45 degree angle. And this allows me to, to get lower and hit my whole leg. And then I go down. And then up. So I'm hitting my quads, I'm hitting my glutes, I'm hitting my hamstrings. And I have an easy movement for power. I feel like this, this movement gives me the most power when I want to lift heavy. What you want to also focus on is that you don't drop down. And you don't want to lock up. You want to keep a nice steady movement up, down, keep that muscle fully engaged. Also make sure you realize where you're placing the bar. You don't want to put it too high up on your neck. You don't want to take it too down low. Come up, feel where it's comfortable for you. For me, it's basically resting on my traps. And I grip the bar in a way that I can feel like I'm pushing up with my arms. on your glutes first of all your squats get stronger everything else gets double. if you say okay coach believe me <laughs> okay let's do it so just squeeze it again and stretch it no rushing 
should do it right here. Okay, so one muscle group that a lot of men tend to neglect is the glutes. And you have to keep in mind that's the biggest muscle group on your body. So it's not enough to squat and do other exercises. If you focus a bit on your, there's nothing wrong with a man with a little booty. So <laughs> you'll see that a lot of your main exercises will get a lot stronger. And I focus heavily on glutes. So what I do with this exercise is I will push back explosive and twist out at the end and that gives you a focus right in this area. <laughs> and what I do is, I do this sometimes like my leg extensions before I do any of the heavy workouts like the squats or the, uh, or the, what's this one called again? <laughs> I'm a little tired. What's that? The leg press. Mm -hmm. Excuse my French. And like I said, it just pre fatigues the muscle and makes it work harder. That way, making it a little bit bigger. Four sets, 10 to 15 reps, increasing each time. So, in our like previous video from Mexico, I already showed you this exercise. I really love this one. It actually helps me to feel my hamstrings more. So it does stretch your hamstrings and glutes. And it kind of looks like stiff, you know, like one of versions. So, um, make sure to keep your back straight and just push down your hips. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You stop right here. You don't need to go all the way down because you're gonna feel your back. We don't need that. You can do it like with straight legs or you can bend your knees a little bit. Also, Bahar is trying to tell you is that even depending on where you turn your foot, you can work different areas of your hamstring. There's inner, there's outer, there's the middle. So now she's turned them out a bit slightly and she's hitting different parts of her hamstring. Yeah. How I like to use this machine is the conventional way. But I mean, with every machine, there's so many things you can do. So, if I've done this specific workout today, I like to come here to fatigue my quads. What I like about this machine is that it really helps you focus on this area here to separate between your quads and your hamstrings. So what I will do is, I will start with a closed leg, go down. Make sure you don't go down where you're taking the tension off your quads. You want to keep the tension on, we want to go down, just slightly under 90, come up, don't lock out your knees, keep the tension on, slightly before you lock out, go back down, up, down, up, 10 reps like that, I open my legs, a slight bit more, I do another 10, then I open them really wide, and I go down. 10. So I'm exhausting the muscles here.
Bye. To be honest, this is one of the only aminos that I can actually drink in my workout because it doesn't feel too heavy. It's just right and it allows my muscles to stay hydrated. Okay guys, so this is a bit of a lighter dumbbell. We couldn't find the 50 kilo one, but I'm going to show you what I like to do at the end of the workout to finish off. I do about, let's say 10 steps forward, long lunges. Make sure you feel it in your glutes. And then at the end of that, I'll stop, open really wide, and do a kind of sumo squat. And I'll go one, two, three, four, ten reps to really exhaust the muscle. Don't lock out at the top and don't rest at the bottom. Keep it a fluid motion. And that will really burn out your legs towards the end of your workout. This is it for today guys, I hope you liked it, we're definitely gonna bring something new to you, new tips, new workouts, so you learn something new, and please subscribe to YouTube channel, give us likes, follow us on Instagram, and see you very soon. Bye.